Although I enjoy working on a big screen, um, there are times where working on the mobile phone just works so much better because it's more convenient. No matter where I am, I can sort out clients' work that they require. One of those apps is Photo Room. It's this, this one here with the uh, icon, the red, I mean, not the red, but the, uh, the R, Photo Room. It is an incredible tool in that it removes backgrounds, but not only that, it has a whole lot of templates and preps things for positioning them, whether you're doing an online store and wanting to cut down backgrounds, you know, add borders, add text to it. It's really powerful. Now, there's hundreds of apps out there, and I, I think I'm going to just give my uh, two cents worth on why I use this exclusively. I've got background removal software. I've got subscriptions and everything, but this seems to be my go-to one. So it's photo room um, and you, you can get the version that you install from the app store and then the pro version. And it's really worth it if this is what you utilize it for quite a bit. OK, so first of all, if you're doing like a profile picture, whatever picture you pull in here, it will cut it out and give it to you on these kind of templates. And once you have it here, you can then save it and utilize it or you could modify it further like let's assume this image here with a circle is the one we want to use you tap on it um, what you have access to is what's in these layers below here you can see this frame um, if you tap on that let me just go back this frame person frame background um, and each of these aspects it's like you have them on layers you can modify them independently it's context sensitive, so once you tap on something, it brings up a few items with it. And in addition to that, you have the top areas, which is the resizing, your text, and if you want to add additional image. Um, you could replace this image if you choose to. Uh, and it's, it's quite cool in that if you're going to replace it, it brings the new picture in, in and it will remove background at the same time. So let's just do it uh, from within this context menu here. Yeah? If I tap on replace, uh, let's just pull through this. I'll pull this image through. You see what it does is it takes the background away. Now this is a simple one already, but there it brings it in. Um, once I have it there, you see it's selected. I can move it all over. I can pinch to zoom and position as you see these nice guidelines when it's horizontal. I can flip it in all. So it's really, really intuitive. I can even move it outside the the bounding over here. So everything functions brilliantly. I'm going to just try and get it aligned. So that is pinch and zoom on the screen. Here we see it says replace manual light on. Light on is just like a kind of, you know, a, a setting that you tap onto it and it will add a bit of brightening. I particularly don't like tapping that because I'm not sure how I can get it off if I want to. Uh, too lazy to work that out. But here's the other key thing. Whatever is shown below here as far as editing goes all relates to what you've selected in the image if you select like i'm going to select the background the things change over here I select the image again the different it's context sensitive and it's not only what you see here but if you swipe up you're going to see a whole lot of things that apply to whatever you've selected here you've got shadow outline reflection but as you swipe up it sizes down and you have all of these effects that you can go to uh, if we go to the bottom here, this is literally does what it says, duplicate whatever you've selected, which is this image in this case. And then you have front and back. So I'm going to just duplicate so we can have two images to work with. Okay, um, so if I do this, I'm going to push it right up. This front and back now, this image I've selected, if I tap front, it stays in front. But if I go back, it's moving it up the layers or moving it backwards. See, it's putting it into the circle, then it will take it behind my original picture, bring it forward again. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. It's the whole layer concept. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so we're back to this area now. If I wanted to change the background, same thing would happen. I can tap it here or change the frame. The frame is almost like a masking. So if I tap on the frame, um, let's see. Oh, no, it's just half an area. Okay, I see what they've done here. So they've got two sections that they've pulled out and created this kind of illusion that it's a cutout. Okay, but 
you get the idea that we have all of these flexibilities. I can go into this and go and scroll up and go delete that. Select this bottom one and I'm going to scroll right up and delete it. Okay, so there I'm sitting with a background image. I can tap background, just make it full. So everything is pinch, zoom, rotate. Now, if I'm going to work on the background now, um, everything functions that way. You have blur, filters, effects. Oh, my wife's sending me <laughs> messages here. Um, so you, you look at this. It's quite incredible. Let's just go to adjust. Um, here again, it's, it's visual. So I don't want to do it on the background. I'll maybe choose the photo and go to adjust. Um, this is where I can now correct what I showed you earlier on where we just added the light. I can Once you select it on brightness, then this toggle button is what works here. So we can pull that warmth. You okay, can take a bit of the... and, and so forth. Uh, you highlights, low light, saturation. Okay, this is this is quite incredible. You you can actually bring this in for normal photos. The only thing is that if you bring in any image, by default it's going to remove the background. Now I haven't really looked to see if there's a feature that when you bring it in, it doesn't remove the background automatically. Maybe it can be disabled, but that would forfeit the purpose of of this particular app. Okay, so you hopefully you're getting the idea now when we go back. Uh, I'm going to put text. Just put the text here and say hello. Okay. And as you see there, can you see the text comes with a nice default drop shadow. Everything on that is editable. So if I change the text color, I can go into a green and close that. And then you have a drop shadow so I can swipe up and see what it looks like. Um, that's for sizing the background what do we have here maybe okay so that's for a plain background um, so I can okay that size background let's see yeah yeah uh, I don't want that I'm going to make it transparent and let's go up again adjust that would give you opacity layers okay so you get the idea whatever's available shadow intensity if you want to make it more intense etc I, I think this is brilliant okay i'm just sliding this button across move 3d i think this is also cool then you slide your finger on here and the shadow will go into a kind of a 3d illusion you see how the shadow moves basically there okay so I'm sure you'd get as excited as I am about this. But this is, you can fiddle with this editing in the individual image. But that's pretty much on this one image that we had. Uh, if you have products for online stores, it is really phenomenal. So you can create whatever you want to. But if you think these templates are going to work much better for you, then you can just utilize them. I mean, if, if we, let's say this first one, you have uh, fall fashion. If I like that kind of look, uh, once again, I mean, I can design my own looks. I can design everything and save it. But say I like this one and I want to use it. It's pretty much in there. And I'm going to replace this image. Let's put myself in there again. Okay, and there we go. Pinch size it. Okay, there we go. And there we've got the thing. And of course, all the editability is over there. Um, let's just go further down. There's tons of different things. And you swipe from left to right. You can also get other options on up and down. People that use it for online stores find this an indispensable item. Because, you know, you can create it. And if you want to create the realism, you create the drop shadows, everything. It's, it's all editable, fully editable. So I'm going to add now how I start off. I'm going to go to start from a photo. So this is usually if you start and go to a gallery. Let's go and look at uh, some Google Photos. Um, let's pull this one up here. I think. Let me open this gallery. Where are we? Is my internet connection happening? What's going on with my phone? I 
Okay, my, my application is acting up for now. <laughs> so let me just find something. Okay, let's take this image here. Okay, I'm going to take that photo frame. So I'm selling a photo frame. Look at that. It's just cleared it up and then given me all the different options that we have. Um, so I like this, this pink one. There we go. Add some text for sale. Right pinch. Get the line nice so it's horizontal. Then you can go for sale there. Change the color. Okay, maybe make it that color. And slide up. Let's see what else we want to do. Let's create an outline. Okay, there we go. So this is how you create it. And when you export it, you just go to the top there. And if you want to collaborate with other photo room users, you go there or you could share it or save it to a gallery. So if I wanted to share this now I, or let me save it to a gallery again you see all the layers there and nice thing is also if, if you have for sale over here for example um, and you want to move it behind the frame you could grab it on these dots on the right here and drag it down okay it will go behind the frame and drag it up like like normal layers oops let me where am i grabbing or you could use that system that I showed just now where you you can go, if you go out here, where are we? Are we over here? Oops. Where you, you went and you actually did the forward and back story. Okay, but in this case, we've just got it going. I've now removed the, the wording there. And just add here yeah, for sale. And okay, the other thing is if you don't want to pinch and zoom, um, I think if you scroll up, you can do the sizing over here. This is probably easier than you keep the, the levels nice. And what I like is when, you, when you're focusing on the editing, like if you swipe up here and you get the specific aspect, uh, let's say you're busy with shadows, when you start to manipulate it here and you let go, it maximizes on the screen or it zooms in so you could see the actual effect. You don't have to work with that small area on top. So, folk, I hope this is like gets you excited about it. But this is my go-to app. Pretty much, if I just want a background image or the background removed, I'd come here and take this one and export this one. This one is with transparent background, or I manipulate it with all the other backgrounds that one is looking for when you use it. Okay, and if you have content under your my content, your stuff will all be. In that place it kept and saved there so great hopefully this gets you excited about editing your images and you you then can have a text editing a photo editing thing and a background remover all in one with photo room very really cool app